All right, it's a little bit cold again. Got some more snow on the ground. And it's cloudy. We haven't seen, actually we had a beautiful day uh, this past weekend. It was gorgeous, actually two days. Um, <clears throat> this past Saturday and Monday, actually Sunday and Monday were beautiful days. Um, I wanna show you guys something I picked up about a month ago on Facebook Marketplace. I couldn't pass it up because I got a good deal on it. And I wanted to test it out in the greenhouse. So let me show you what I got. So this is it. It's a double barrel um, wood stove that someone just fabricated, obviously. Um, but they sell these kits to turn them into wood stoves. And basically it's just a door. And it comes with a little vent down there. And then a pipe up here. And then you connect them in the center. So I've been wanting to do this, try it out, and I didn't, someone had already done the work and I didn't feel like getting into the project just uh, from scratch. And so I picked this up and I'm gonna see how it does in heating this big old greenhouse. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to set it up today. All I really need to do is I'm gonna actually vent it out where the, the fan is because theoretically I won't need that fan in the uh, winter and I'll need it in the summer and I can just swap this out whereas I won't need the wood stove in the summer obviously so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right about here um, I don't want to put it too far in the center uh, because I don't want to have to buy more pipe um, so I'm gonna run to the store I'm gonna get some pipe for this thing I have a bunch of these fire bricks that I actually took out of our fireplace to fit our wood stove in the fireplace here and some more in the uh, wa the uh, wheelbarrow over there. And I'm gonna probably just create a level surface with these bricks. And then I'm gonna put all of the, I'm gonna put the wood stove on top of the uh, fire brick and run the pipe up and then over and run the fire box out right where that vent is. And obviously get a little piece of plywood and then so the fire box can go through it. And then I'll take a 90 right when I get outside of the greenhouse and go straight up so let's run to the store let's get this uh the supplies that we need and we'll start putting this thing together all right so i started to mock it up here just to get an idea of what i got going on so the ground's not level right here so what i'm gonna do is take this breaker bar start pounding away at the dirt and get loose so i can start to level out that ground and then i'm gonna set down a pad of fire brick like i was talking about um, so once that's level then I'll know my exact height, but basically I got two 36 inch pipes there already put together with a 90 degree elbow at the top. And then um, I think that's gonna be enough height. I think I'm near perfect, so I don't have to cut anything here. As the pipe goes over and out the, I have some sheet metal right here. I'm gonna close up that square with, it's gonna go through the sheet metal now. If you're watching this, don't freak out um, that I'm not putting a firebox in. What I'm gonna do is leave a gap around, like an air gap around the sheet metal. So I didn't, so I don't have to buy a firebox. Um, it's not like I'm gonna burn anything down in here, so I'm not too worried about it. Now, if you're in a house, you definitely wanna go through a firebox uh, when you're going through wood for sure. So, uh, like I said, I was gonna do wood, but instead I got that sheet metal. I'm gonna cut a hole in the sheet metal and go straight through the sheet metal and then I'll have another 90 to go straight up, and then I got a little rain cap that I'm gonna use. Um, obviously, this is, you know, shortcut, trying to just do as cost-effective as I can because this pipe gets really expensive, and then the fireboxes are not cheap either. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and start pounding away at this dirt and get this thing level. All right, we're back out here today. I got caught by the dark last night and I couldn't finish. I did get the 
the ground level as I wanted it to. I put the fire brick underneath. I'm gonna put some more fire brick in the front and probably just, you know, stack it around the sides and stuff. Just to help out a little bit. <clears throat> so I got that done and then I started to put the black pipe together. I have the other pipe here. These are three lengths of pipe. This is gonna be what's gonna go out the vent side. So I'm gonna take that vent down that I have up there now. So I got my sheet metal here and then I also got some angle iron or some angle bracing uh, because I'm gonna need to brace when the stovepipe comes out the sheet metal right here and comes up and over and then back up. Um, I'm gonna need some bracing. I'm gonna have to brace it to the side of the greenhouse somehow so that it has some stability. I also got some strapping and I'm gonna strap from underneath that or around the purlin to underneath the stovepipe. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna take that vent down. All right, now for the hard part. I gotta hold this pipe up there and see if I can center it and know where I gotta cut my hole at. Actually, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put my strap on there around the purlin so that I have something to rest this thing on probably. That's a good idea. All right, I'm just going to try to hold this thing up there real quick. Pray for me. All right, I bent the uh, strap where the bottom of it should be. So I'll hold that down while I knock the top in. Get a level on it and then I'll adjust the top strap. Here we go. Okay, got level. Get level. Oh, you got me, yeah. Well, Daddy. Yeah. Well, Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get the doors in and close that side, dude, it'll be warm in here. Yeah, um, dude. Yeah, dude. All right, I got the hole cut. My memory ran out on me on the camera here. Got the hole cut. Going all the way through. And comes out the other side here. So I think that's a good length to come out. Um, so now I got my stack. Hey buddy. <laughs> now I got my stack I gotta get on. So I got a rain cover for it and then takes another 90 and that's gonna go on there. Unfortunately, this one. Hi. It's Kathy. This one has a uh, an open end and then this one has an open end so that means I need a coupler so I gotta run to the store real quick I had to return some things anyway so I'll return those things while I'm there I gotta run to the store and I'll get that coupler and I think I'll be good to go all right I got the connector or the Union I already put it on I don't know how Yeah, let's get the strap in here. So I'm going to use this brace and just come alongside it here.
that high means it's over a thousand degrees already. So the stove pipe right here is at 400. Whoo, it's hot. I can just feel the sand in here. Yep. Back here where the pipe is, it's over a thousand degrees already. Wow. All right, well, there she is. She is done. Got her all installed last night. Just want to check everything and make sure I'm not. It's already burn. I'm burning off this paint already, so I really don't want to stand in here long. So the question is, can you heat a 72 foot by 30 foot greenhouse with a double barrel wood stove? The straightforward and simple answer to that question is, I don't know. I'm testing this whole thing out, really. Um, this is a huge greenhouse to heat with such a small wood stove, but I mean, in comparison to anything else, it's a pretty big wood stove. So right now what I'm doing is I put this thing together for just under 300 bucks and um, you know most of the money that was spent in this thing is in the stovepipe obviously stovepipe is decently expensive um, so the stovepipe cost me a little bit the stove itself was just under 100 bucks and I made do with the rest of the tools and the odds and ends just putting it together uh, right now really what I'm trying to do is burn the plat the uh, paint off of the top barrel because he never burnt it off before. So I have the sidewalls down on the greenhouse here and here, and I'm really just ventilating because it stinks in here and I'm trying to get all that paint off. So I have that thing over a thousand degrees already. It's really easy to heat up because it's not like a typical wood stove. It's not real thick. It's just, you know, an oil barrel. So it's pretty thin. Um, so that's what I'm testing out right now. How is this thing gonna fare? Is it gonna is it gonna burn the plastic? Is it gonna melt the top of the greenhouse? Is it, you know, what's it gonna do? And from what I can tell so far, it's gonna do fine. I'm gonna be taking this down every summer to replace it with a vent so I can get the heat out in the summer, keep the heat in in the winter. Obviously, I don't have a door on here and ultimately I have a wide open area back there and then I have an open man door back there as well. So, um, right here, I can feel the heat coming off of it and I'm about 10 feet away, something like that. It is hot, that's for sure. Um, these things get really hot. Let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, and that thing is just roaring. I mean, it is roaring. And close, uh, close this bottom half off to kind of keep the air from coming in to let the keep the heat in there and let it smolder so if you're interested in uh, doing a double barrel wood stove basically all you have to have is two oil barrels um, and then they sell these kits I think you get them at like tractor supply I, like I said I got this one already built so I didn't feel like putting the time into building it and so they sell these kits with these um, cast iron connectors and then they have a uh, cast iron pipe connector back here from the bottom barrel to the top and then they have cast iron feet and then they have the cast iron top with the damper and then you have a, a kind of like a cast iron front here with a little swivel for a door and then you have a spot to kind of put an air vent in so you can close and shut this to let air in and out um, and then it has one right here as well that you can shove over and let air in if you're interested in building your own you can go i'll leave a uh, link to one in the description below that you can get so this is it i mean i like i said i'm standing you know 10 plus around 10 feet away from this thing and i can feel the heat coming off of it so i'm guessing when i close so when I go ahead and close this back end, obviously I'll leave enough space to get the skid steer in and out. But when I go ahead and close this back end, I will um, put a man door over here and obviously I'll finish my man door over here and we'll see how much heat it actually does produce. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. 
Um, like I said, once I get this greenhouse enclosed, then we'll real, really be able to tell how viable it is. You know, some of the, the, the downsides are obviously, you know, I'd have to come in here and stoke this thing. And in the middle of the night, when it gets real cold, I'd have to make sure there's enough fuel in here to at least keep the ambient temperature high enough to where the plants won't die. Um, I really want this to be a viable option because, uh, you know, using wood for fuel is, is a very appealing thought. Um, I don't want to have to bring gas out here. I don't want to have to spend a buku amount of money and electricity and gas to run fans and a, and a, and a uh, heater. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm going to be testing this thing over the course of the rest of the winter. Um, and we'll see just how well it performs uh, and if it's a viable option for keeping the plants warm. Well, that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, if you like these, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like this, hit our subscribe button and you will get updates for future videos we put out. Me and Isaiah are gonna hop on the uh, skid steer over here and we're gonna move some dirt and get some work done. Thank you again for watching. Appreciate it. See y'all in the next video.